Hi everyone, this is Jeannie Hall and I'm a creative empowerment coach and today I want to talk about craving happiness because all of us want it and a lot of us project that out into the world as if we're all completely happy every time and I hear people talk about all the time about how their Facebook and their Instagram and their social media is full of just the highlights of their life. They only show the happy moments, the smiles and the celebrations and the fun and, and the vacation pictures and that's all cool, that's all well and good. But we also have a lot of issues in our society right now and have for a while with depression, anxiety, with trouble. and. Oh, sometimes it's because some, you reach a point in your life and you don't know what it is that you want out of life. You guys who are authors and writers and other creatives, you have the blessing of knowing what your passion is, so that's a huge plus. But it's really important, I think, to be real with how you feel and to realize it's okay to not, if, if you're not happy every second of every day and that you can take strides to change that and to refocus and that things happen in our life you know we become empty nesters when our kids leave to go off and live their lives we have different points in our lives where things happen relationships sometimes break up break up sometimes people pass away sometimes major life events happen and it's hard to get past it so what happiness can really mean though is satisfaction so if we can find a way to be satisfied or be joyful, and I think a lot of that has to do with what we're willing to do. Hi Julie, hi Debbie. And so for me, the way I find my own joy is I become very childlike, personally. I, I just turned 45 and I don't care, right? Like one of the things that I do, I love to go to like a park and just get on the swing set like a little kid and I will just swing and giggle like a little child and it's awesome and I don't care. I guess I've gotten old enough to the point where it makes me happy. So, so what, right? So I like to do the things that make me happy and I think that's one of the keys to being happy in our lives is being willing to do stuff that maybe looks a little weird or looks a little childlike, you know, maybe childish. But if it brings you joy, that's okay. If you like sticking your hands in the dirt, stick your hands in the dirt. Do some gardening, have some fun. Whatever it is that you enjoy, that's okay. That's good that you know that. If it's writing and that's your passion, then that's awesome. Go do that. If it's painting, if it's finger painting, if it's child, being on the sidewalk with chalk, coloring in a coloring book, it doesn't matter as long as it brings you joy. And like earlier today, just a little bit ago, I found myself walking in the rain. I got caught in the rain as I was out on my walk today and I had a ball because I love the rain and I'm putting my face up and letting the water rush down and I'm soaked to the bone and my tennis shoes are sopping and sloshing as I walk and I didn't care because I was having fun and I consider that a joyful experience. Now I don't recommend doing that in the lightning, <laughs> but you know, whatever brings you joy, whatever you like to do as a kid just for the hell of it, that is exactly what we need to remember more as adults. And so don't be afraid to crave happiness and to find that joy and just do whatever makes you joyful because you'll find a lot more satisfaction in your life if you're willing to do that. So hi Terry, thanks for joining. So everybody who's watching, I hope you have a beautiful and blissful rest of your Saturday and Sunday. Take care and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.